everybody, Orly Shani here. Welcome to the DIY Designer. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, Welcome. I hope that you subscribe if you like what you see. I have a really, really great functional DIY that we're gonna do today. But first, I wanted to talk about this vest here because I wanna know if maybe this is something you guys would like to see here on this channel. So originally, this was a vintage jacket, a men's vintage jacket that I found at the flea market. It was way too big on me. I spent 60 bucks to have it taken in in the shoulders, taken in in the arms, and it still looked too bulky, too baggy. I just felt really masculine when I wore it but I felt like I spent too much money on it, so I wasn't willing to give it away, donate it, or anything like that. So finally, I decided to cut the sleeves off of it. Exhibit A, the sleeve that I cut off of it. Now, by cutting off the sleeve, I was it allowed me to then cut in a little bit, because originally the shoulders were really wide, so it let me cut it in, and now I just feel like it's way more fun, it's way more flattering, I'm wearing it all the time, um, even with something crazy like this, just with a red sweatshirt. It's just a fun piece. If this is something that you guys maybe have wanted to do and you don't quite know how to turn a jacket into a vest, will you comment below and let me know and I will whip up a video for you. All right, enough of that. On to today's DIY. Today I'm gonna show you guys how you can dye your suede pieces, whether they're shoes, jackets, skirts, whatever it is. I happen to have this boot right here. It was this beautiful like nude blush tone originally, but I left it in a place where it got sun bleached and so it just, I was never wearing them because they looked janky as It was originally a beautiful blush color. It got sun bleached into almost like a beige yellow. This is a similar tone because I love that they were light, but I painted them a really beautiful, soft, pale gray. They are so gorgeous. It is soft and smushy, just like the suede should be. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can change the color of your suede, really suede anything, or you could even do two-tone, which is a huge trend right now. You can see these boots here are two-tone boots. It's a really fun kind of 60s trend, and they're really expensive. This is so easy, can't wait to do it. Let's get started. This bug. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take our suede brush and give your boots a really good brushing. You're gonna see kind of some residue flaking off. You wanna make sure that you have a nice clean surface to accept the dye, so this is an important step. Next up, we're just gonna take our suede dye and give it a good shake. It can kind of separate. I decided not to use the applicator it came with and I used my own stippling brush. I just preferred the way that I could kind of buff this into the boot and you'll see that as I'm going, I'm really buffing it, trying to make sure that it's seeping deep into the suede Anywhere that you have little folds or pleats, make sure that you sort of press that open to get in there. Be really careful around things like your zippers, the sole of your shoe. The good news is that this stuff is only gonna adhere to fabric. So if you do get it on the sole of your shoe, you can always go in with a little paper towel and clean it right up. It will come off perfectly. The area that it will not come off though, however, is like the elastic in the back because that is fabric. So take your time and be really careful in that area. Now, just work your way around the whole boot, going, buffing as you go, making sure to really press the dye in to the boot. You're gonna want to obviously do one side and then flip it over and go along the second side of the boot. You'll be able to compare sides and make sure that you're even. If you have boots like I do, which fold in half, stick your arm into the center to make sure that you get an even blending on the top. You'll take a minute, let your boots dry, and when you come back, you might notice that there's some dye that actually looks like it's just sitting on the boot. So this is when you take your suede brush and give it a vigorous brushing. You're gonna see some dust come up. That's really all of the dye that isn't seeping into the fabric of the boot. If you brush it really well, it's not only gonna remove it, but it's gonna really help in making sure that the suede feels like suede should. Really really soft to the touch. 